Hi, it's Anne and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a brand new review video for you guys because Artessa was kind enough to send me uh, their expert watercolor pads and their paint markers. Starting with the watercolor pads, the paper is actually two-sided, so you have one smooth side and one more textured side. Uh, however, it does say on the website that it's cold pressed, but the grain is um, really, really smooth. So it's more like a hot pressed kind of side on the back. And then you have a more textured side on top, which is more of a cold pressed texture. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, in each pad you have 32 sheets and this set comes with two pads uh, they're both 9 by 12 inches and the paper is 300 gsm uh, i will do a more in-depth review uh, while using the watercolor pads with well watercolors um, because obviously that's what they're meant for um, however i gotta tell you that while using the paper with these paint markers the paper didn't pill at all which is super impressive uh it didn't warp it didn't buckle uh it handled it very very well so i was i was really pleasantly surprised about what this paper could handle um but again i will use it with watercolors and i will come back to you guys with a more in-depth review on the paper itself uh, in a later video. As for the paint markers, these comes in a set of 20 and they are oil-based permanent non-toxic markers that can be used on virtually any surface, uh, porous and non-porous. Uh, it can be used outside, you can use it on, yeah, like anything, like fabric. I really want to try these on fabric. They also claim on the website that the ink is archival quality and it's highly light fast. I just want to say full disclosure right away, uh, Artessa did send me these products for free uh, to make a review. However, I'm not paid to say anything in particular uh they sent me the markers for a honest review and i'm gonna give my totally honest opinion on all of the supplies so i just want to put it out there so nobody gets any 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 weird ideas you know <laughs> if you guys are interested in purchasing these products or anything else from the Artesa website, I will have affiliate links in the description box down below where I get a small commission of everything that you buy with no extra added cost for you guys. Uh, so if you want to use those links, they are in the description box along with a coupon code for 10% off that is valid until July 31st. So if you want 10% off and you want to buy anything from the Artesa website, you have the code ANCAKESART5 and everything will be listed in the description box as always. So the first thing that I kind of came across with these markers are that they don't have any color names on them, on the barrel itself. Uh, however, you do have all the names of the colors listed on the box they arrived in. For me, that's not super helpful because I usually don't keep boxes like this. And this one was a little beat up from the mail as well. Um, so, you know, I tried to organize them so I knew what order they, they would be in. Uh, so I know kind of what color I'm dealing with. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's one remark that I have that I would love to have the color names on the barrel itself. And I also feel like the color variety wasn't the best. Uh, you'll see a little bit later that uh, the greens are very similar to each other. The um lemon yellow is more of a like <laughs> highlighter yellow uh and the yellow yellow is more of an orangey kind of egg yolky color um they also give you two of the silver and gold pens which is uh kind of nice but for me personally i would probably see the price go down and have an 18 color set or use those two extra slots for a wider color range 
because I feel like the color selection could definitely be updated to get a more um, varied color palette with these markers. Oh, oh, <laughs> uh, maybe I should tell you what everything costs as well. Um, the expat watercolor pads are £23.99 or $26.99. Uh, I think that's a really, really good deal for 64 sheets of 9x12 watercolor paper. Um, again, I've been trying this out and I'm really impressed with the quality. And this is from their expat range, which is supposed to be their artist quality range. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually really, really impressed by these papers. Uh, the markers are £23.29 or $21.99. I do feel like the biggest kind of letdown with these markers are the fact that they are not as opaque as I would have wanted them. Some of the colors are really opaque, um, but the lighter colors and the more kind of fluorescent colors, like the lemon yellow, which is basically like a highlighter yellow, um, was very, very translucent. And in markers like these, I would expect them to be, uh, yeah, just more opaque and able to layer in a different way than they were. So I did struggle a little bit trying to get this whole composition ready. Originally, I was gonna do a uh, kind of bunch of miniature landscape paintings, but then I realized that the nibs are quite large and it's really, really hard to get any kind of detail in there. So I decided to go with a very, very, very simplistic style and keep it to just basic shapes. Um, but there are some overlapping with the leaves and stuff like that. And um, I did struggle getting even the, the few details that are in this piece I was struggling with because um, the nibs were quite large. And again, the, the light yellows didn't really want to layer on top of other colors um, and they were kind of picking up the pigments uh, from underneath so I tried to put down all the lighter colors first and then kind of build up from there um, so yeah it was <laughs> a little bit of a challenge but I had a lot of fun and I'm super excited to try these pens on fabric in particular because that's that's a project that i've been wanting to do for a very very long time so i'm quite excited about that another little pet peeve of mine is that the caps doesn't fit on the other end um however a plus that i found was that the cap has this little wrench on it so when you put the markers on your table it doesn't roll off um so that's one good thing about the markers or the caps uh, however, I wish that the caps would fit on the other end of the marker as well. So I would really, really love to see smaller nibs or a variety of nib sizes uh, with these markers, just to kind of allow you to get that more finer detail because it's quite hard to get fine detail at the moment. However, if you're working on bigger pieces, obviously it's going to make it easier. Um, but for me, I felt like the nibs were a tiny bit too big for me to kind of be able to get any detail in. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start with one last, just <laughs> one last, um, I feel like I'm being a party pooper here. But um, the last kind of improvement I have on these pens is that the smell is quite strong. It's an oil-based ink. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it, but it's got this really, really strong marker smell, you know? Um, so if you're sensitive to that, um, if you're, you're warned. <laughs> um, they are quite smelly. Uh, however, if you compare these pens to their, you know, opponents, I, I suppose, like the Uni Posca and the um, Pilot Pintor, which we got in the scroller box last month, the price point is quite a lot cheaper, like a lot cheaper. 
so I would say that the set is great for someone who's just starting out in this medium and you kind of want to try it out before making a big investment and you know if you don't want to do if you don't want to do a set of 20 like maybe pick up your favorite colors from one of the more expensive brands and just try that out another really positive thing that I found was that the ink actually dried really really quickly I was afraid I'm gonna smudge it because I'm putting my hand all over the paper um, but I didn't have any issues with that it's really quick drying and I had so much fun and I learned so much and I feel like I just need to practice a little bit with this medium to really get the hang of it um, but yeah I had I had a lot of fun and I and I really do feel like this is a good cheaper alternative if you don't want to invest the money in getting the more expensive okay uh i <laughs> i think that's all i kind of have to say right now um so yeah um that's, that's all i've got i will come back to you guys with a review on the watercolor pads because again i feel like i need to <laughs> use them with watercolors to make a proper review of the watercolor quality of the paper um so i'm definitely gonna come back with that one but so far I'm I'm so impressed <laughs> I'm so impressed with this paper and yeah I will see you guys next week uh thank you so much for watching you guys are amazing and I will speak to you soon so have a good day or night or evening or whatever it is as you're watching this and I'll talk to you next time thank you so much for watching and happy painting bye